Hi, my name is John Givens, and today I'm going to show you how to self-tape for an ankle sprain. If we look at the skeleton and we look at an ankle, you can see I've placed two stars on the inferior lateral side of the lateral malleolus here. And you can see this star it replicates the anterior talofibular ligament, which is the most commonly sprained ligament in the body. And then we have a one slightly inferior posterior to that one, which is known as the calcaneofibular ligament. But there's another ligament, which is at the back, called the posterior talofibula, which is located in here. And these three are the free lateral ligament complex. Now, in terms of taping, we are going to use two eye strips for the stirrup, and then we are going to use two smaller eye strips, which will come horizontal to stabilize. What we're going to do, we're going to overlap. So these would be roughly 10 centimeters in, in, in width, but we're going to overlap them so they become 7.5 centimeters. And we're going to start from the medial malleolus, and then we're going to tape on the outside, and we're also going to include the peroneal tendons as well. So the patient's going to do this. So what she's going to do is start from the inside, and she's going to rip the tape at the top, and apply that above the medial malleolus. So the first one's going to go slightly anterior, so that's going to cover the ATFL ligament, and then she's going to peel it back and come under. It's a bit awkward and a bit tricky, but let's see how we get on. So she's going to, I would suggest about 75% stretch if you want to give some good stability to the ankle. And then what we can do is maybe, yeah, maybe tension about 75, I said, and stick that down, and then feed that up. Okay, so let's cover the ATFL. And then if you use this one, and then that'll go slightly posterior to the first piece of tape. So I'll just overlap it just a little bit, so good. So that overlaps the first part. And again, if you peel it and just pre-tension it under the foot, good. Like so, and then maybe I said, what you can probably do with this one is, yeah, so you can just come inferior to the malleolus and lateral, so you're going to cover the ATFL, that's it. And that's also going to include the peroneals and stick that down. That's good. So that's two covering. So we've got a bit of a peroneal tendon as well. We can make the tape longer and come right up here, depending. So we've literally, because remember the pain is here, so we want to make sure that this area is, is more stable. This one looks like the letter J, and um, so it would be known as a J strap. And if you rush in for time, then that would suffice. But what we're going to do to finish is use another two strips, and then what we're going to do is start from the medial side and then come round to the lateral side. What the patient was going to do then was actually going to split it, which is fine because you can come behind and wrap it around. But in this case, we'll start above the malleolus, and then that's going to come round. That's it, good. And with this one, again, we can vary the stretch. I suggest around 50%. So go above the malleolus in this one. Good. 50%. That's it, and stick that down. And no stretch at the end. Well done. And then the last piece. Let me just take these. The last piece will go inferior to the first piece. So if you go halfway now. To overlap it. I actually teach a lot of my patients how to self-tape because it's quite expensive for them to come in just to be taped. We can leave a tape on for three to five days. So we could see him say on a Monday we can treat, we can tape and then have a couple of days rest and then maybe reassess the following week. I said 50% stretch and lay that down here. Just a couple of seconds just to heat activate the tape. Well done. And there we have self-taping for the most common injury in the body, which is an ankle inversion sprain. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.